What time is it in the morning? Hey monkey, what time is it? He doesn't know what time it is. What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Kristen and today I'm going to be doing another what I eat in a day video for you guys. Um, these are definitely my most popular videos. I think a lot of people are just curious as to like what I eat in, 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 in an entire day. I think you see like meals here and there that I make on Instagram or in my Facebook group or whatever. Um, but not a lot of people get to see like what vegans eat throughout the entire day. So I think that's why these videos are really popular because a lot of people are just like, what the shit would I even eat? So I'm gonna try to start doing more of these what I eat in a day videos. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna film for you guys today. Um, it is 9.04 in the morning. Um, I got up about a half an hour ago and like cuddled in bed with my cat and my boyfriend and went outside and got some fresh air. It's beautiful out. It's kind of like a gloomy, overcast spring day, um, but the temperature is really nice out. I think we're gonna go on like a hike or something in the foothills maybe. So anyway, yeah, I just woke up a little bit ago. Um, I poured myself some warm lemon water. So just squeeze some fresh lemon into some warm water. Um, I try to drink this every single morning. It's really good for digestion. Um, it gets your metabolism going, uh, kind of wakes your body up. So I always drink a liter of warm lemon water in the morning and I just started some water for some tea too. I'll probably maybe have some mint tea or I don't know, some kind of tea. And then I'm gonna kind of do like some morning routine stuff. I'll probably stretch a little bit and Casey and I will probably meditate and go on a walk and then I'll probably eat some breakfast. And I was gonna have a smoothie, but since it's kind of overcasty, I might make some oatmeal. Ooh, I don't think we have bananas left. Damn it. I don't like oatmeal without like fresh banana in it. Maybe we'll walk to the co-op and get banana. Hmm, I don't know, maybe I'll have a smoothie. I'm gonna drink this water and I'm gonna do some morning stuff, check my emails, read, um, meditate, all that stuff. And then when I eat something, I will just let you guys know. Okay, bye. Okay, so I just poured myself some tea and it's delicious. It's in my new little mug that I got at a thrift store like a couple weeks ago and I love it because it's nice and tall and big and it keeps my shit real warm. So um, anyway, I'm just drinking like some Moroccan mint green tea. It's organic, it's from Trader Joe's. It's super good, I love it. I'm just having some tea and I'm finishing up my liter of warm lemon water. Um, yeah, then I'll let you guys know when I eat some breakfast. Okay, so I decided to make a smoothie instead of oatmeal because I didn't feel like walking to the co-op to get bananas um, and we just had the stuff for a smoothie. So I made two of these like medium, so I guess this is like a pretty large smoothie, but I made one of these for me and one for Casey. So, um, and it's pretty similar to the smoothie that I usually make every morning except I didn't put cocoa powder in it. I'll post a link for my chocolate peanut butter smoothie that I usually make. This is pretty similar to it. I just, like I said, didn't add the cocoa powder to it. So um, yeah, I essentially just added like mostly water and a little bit of almond milk. I made some homemade almond milk, so I usually just do a splash of that. Sometimes I don't even add that. Um, and some dates and I did some oats to make it a little more filling and some coconut shreds and spinach. That's why it's green. Peanut butter powder. Um, so you can do peanut butter, almond butter, peanut butter powder. I use this stuff called PB2. It's just a lot less fat and calories than regular peanut butter. And I love the shit out of peanut butter, so I just dump it in my smoothies and it's really good. Um, it's really good mixed with maple syrup too, like on oatmeal. Um, and then I added some cinnamon and some allspice and blended that stuff up first. Uh, if you blend the liquid with the greens of your smoothie first before adding in your frozen fruit, um, everything will get nice and blended up um, and you won't have those like green smoothie like spinach or kale pieces that sometimes happen. So blend your liquids with your greens first. I usually blend my dates and stuff too so it gets all blended. And then uh, once that's all nice and smooth and creamy, then I add in some frozen bananas. Um, and since I was making this for two of us, I put in I think like eight frozen bananas but they're pretty they're pretty small around um kind of i would say like small to medium sized bananas um 
and I made it pretty thick. I didn't, I could have added more water and made it like a bigger smoothie, but I was just craving kind of like a thicker smoothie. So I mean, it's pretty like, it doesn't even come off the straw. So it's like ice cream kind of, it's like really hard to pull through the straw actually. <laughs> but it's really good. This is gonna like give me sustainable energy for a long time. So it's a pretty good sized breakfast, but I'm gonna do hot yoga, hot yoga later and to do a bunch of work and stuff. So I like eating a big, bre big breakfast because it fills me up and it lasts a long time. So I'm gonna slowly sip on this and I'm gonna go, um, get some work done and I'll just show you guys um, the next time I eat something. Oh, and it's also really important to like chew your smoothies. I know it sounds kind of weird, but when you actually think about it, it makes sense. Uh, you've probably been told that you're supposed to chew your food like 50 times per bite, which is like, I can't even remember to chew it a couple of times usually, but your saliva is there for a reason. It breaks, starts breaking down your food and it's really helpful for digestion. So when you just drink a smoothie, especially just out of a straw like this, you're just shooting it straight down into your stomach and you're not allowing your saliva to kind of do its job. So it's really important to take a sip and then just kind of like swish it around in your mouth and essentially just kind of like chew your smoothie. So imagine like, um, I mean there's bananas and dates and stuff in here and that normally would get chewed up and, and broken down and mixed with your saliva. Uh, so kind of just imagine doing the same thing with your smoothie. You might not remember every single sip, but just something to keep in mind. It's a really important part of the digestive Di digestive process. So highly recommend trying to like chew your smoothie um, as you're drinking it when you remember. All right, so it's like 2.15 now and I'm getting kind of hungry. Um, we went on a walk and I've just been doing some work in my How to Vegan Facebook group and checking emails. And I was gonna go to hot yoga at noon, but like I have a really kind of like weird, subtle headache. Um, I, I don't know if it's from not drinking enough water yesterday, even though I think I drank a ton of water yesterday. I don't know. I did hot yoga yesterday for the first time in like a week and a half. And so maybe I'm just dehydrated. Anyway, going to hot yoga with a headache is not a good idea, at least for me. So um, I might go at four if I'm feeling up to it then. If not, I'm gonna try to go at seven, so. I was gonna like shower and get ready and film an intro video for my group and all this shit, but yeah. I just figured I'd just work on some other stuff um, and kind of see how my head goes because going to hot yoga with a headache is does not sound fun to me at all. So I'm hungry now, so I'm probably gonna make like a little bowl with leftovers. I had like a smoky tahini bowl last night, so I'm probably gonna kind of make a little bit of that with whatever leftovers I have. I don't think I have a ton. Um, yeah, so I'll make that and then I'll show you guys what it looks like when I'm done tossing shit together. Okay, so before I make this bowl, I am gonna eat some kimchi because I just saw it in the fridge and I forgot we had it and I love it. So I'm just gonna eat some kimchi. If you don't know what kimchi is, it's like fermented, fermented cabbage. Kind of like sauerkraut, but it's more like an Asian style thing. Oh, really good. Like, really good. This is a brand I'm eating. I think it's wild brine and it's the Korean kimchi. Yeah, wild brine. Anyway, it's really good. So it's really good for you. It has a lot of probiotics in it. So really good for your gut health. It's a good idea to try to eat a little bit of fermented food every day. So if you're not taking like a probiotic supplement, try having some sauerkraut or some kimchi or some kombucha. So yeah, I'm just gonna have a couple bites of this uh, delicious um, kimchi and then I'm gonna make the bowl that I was saying I was gonna make. Oh. So good. Okay, so I just made like a random ass bowl full of like a ton of leftovers that we have in the fridge. I'm gonna go get groceries today because we literally have like no food. We don't even have like sweet potatoes that I could have like steamed up or roasted to put with this. So I'm literally eating all of the leftover spinach we had. So any any of the leftover greens we had, that was all of it. So I chopped that up and then um, I just heated up some rice with a little bit of water um, to reconstitute it a little bit so it doesn't get too dry in my bowl. Um, I put that in there and some beans that I just uh, stirred with a little bit of nutritional yeast. Um, so put those in there and then I did some red onion 
and this sauce that I made, which is one of my favorite sauces. It's like a smoky tahini sauce. Um, so it's just made with tahini, which is just ground up sesame seeds. Um, and it has um, a bunch of, the, of other stuff in it and it pretty much tastes like a creamy barbecue sauce. Um, so it has like liquid smoke and nutritional yeast and garlic powder and a little bit of maple syrup and sriracha and a bunch of other stuff. So um, I'll do a video with the recipe for that soon um, so you guys know what it is. But yeah, this was all just leftover stuff. That's usually what I'll do for lunch is just like quick leftover stuff so that I can work because I get a lot of my work done during the middle of the day. So yeah, I'm just gonna eat this bowl. Um, and then I forgot I needed to get groceries today till I actually went and like started looking in the kitchen. I was like, oh yeah, I need to get groceries. So either gonna go to hot yoga soon or get groceries. I don't know, either one, but yeah. Let's try this at least and see what it tastes like. But I know it's good because the sauce is amazing. Mm. 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 That sauce is so good. Yum. Oh, and I'm having a uh, LaCroix because why the shit not? And I'm also drinking, I think this is my third liter of water today. So yeah, this is my third. So I'm starting on my third liter. So yeah, I'm gonna eat this bowl and um, I'll just update you guys the next time I eat some food. Oh man, busy day. Okay, so I just got home from the grocery store. It took way longer than I thought it was going to. It always does. Hi, monkey. I was like, oh, it'll take me like an hour, but I have three places I had to go. No, four places I had to go, including getting cat food for my cat. So it took away way longer than I thought it was going to. So needless to say, I'm super hungry. I think it's like almost eight. It's 7.51. So it's almost eight o'clock. I haven't eaten a ton at all today. Um, so yeah, I was gonna make like a delicious dinner of some sort to show you guys, but because it's kind of late and I had to do all this grocery shopping and I totally forgot that I have a show that I'm going to tonight at the Neuralux um, called Floating Points or Floating Point, Floating Point. I can't remember. I don't know. I found out about it yesterday. It seems like an awesome show, so I'm gonna go. So I just got like a um, burrito bowl from the co-op, which is like five blocks away from my house. I usually get burritos. I've never gotten the burrito bowl because they don't have lettuce. They just have cabbage, but I just went grocery shopping, so I have a bunch of romaine. Um, so I figured that I'll just get the burrito bowl stuff because they have a really good like vegan nut chorizo. And then, um, I'll just like chop up romaine at home. Ow, monkey. He knows I got him cat food, like wet cat food, and he wants it. Ow, monkey. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? You don't know? Tell everybody what you're doing. Are you being cute? So anyway, um, so I'm going to probably chop up some romaine and I'm gonna make a cashew sour cream to go with it because it's pretty plain as is. Um, they're out of avocado too, so they didn't have any guacamole or anything. I'll show you guys how I make my cashew sour cream, which I've been meaning to do a recipe video on anyway. So you guys that are watching this get a little sneak peek because it's the best vegan sour cream ever. Um, it's like four ingredients and it's super easy and it's really fucking good. So um, yeah, I'm gonna make cashew sour cream to put on top of it and if I put anything else I haven't even opened up the box so I don't even know what it looks yet looks like yet they're out of the rice I usually like too so we shall see while I'm making the little bowl since I'm starving these were on sale for like a dollar fifty or something it's these like gimme organic um like seaweed snacks roasted seaweed snacks probably not gonna focus on it there we go so it's Gimme Organic Roasted Seaweed Snacks, and this is like the wasabi kind. If you've never had them, they're really good, and sea vegetables are really good for you. So they're just like these little like paper thin nori sheets like you would get if you're rolling sushi, but they're like roasted and toasted and delicious. And then these ones have wasabi on them. I've never gotten these ones before, um, but they were on sale. So I was like, I was, I'm gonna get them, but I'm gonna probably have like four or five of these little squares and then I'll eat my burrito bowl. It was like the sexiest thing to eat ever. Mm. And they're really addicting. Like I could probably eat a whole box of one of those. <sighs> okay, cool, burrito bowl time. 
Okay, so since I am eating a burrito bowl, I'm going to make a homemade cashew sour cream, like I said. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do it. It's pretty simple. There's like that many ingredients in it. Um, I'm gonna try to do this while holding the camera, so bear with me if it gets a little shaky. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna add is a cup of cashews. These are just raw cashew pieces. If you don't have a high-speed blender, I would recommend, um, Monkey, you wanna help me? Give me just a minute, bud. He wants this. He wants that food in that can, huh? Hey, monkey. Hey, monkey. Do you want food? Do you want food? Yeah? Okay. Okay. Okay, this isn't the food. <laughs> as soon as I'm done making the sour cream, I'll give you food. No, that's not it either. Um, a cup of cashews. If you want to soak them, go for it. I have a high-speed blender, so I'm not going to. Um, so a cup of cashews. And then a half a cup to three quarters of a cup of water. So I usually start with about a half a cup and go from there. Um, and then we're gonna add in um, two, or a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. So like a teaspoon of that um, is gonna go in. I don't really measure stuff, so yeah. Um, and then uh, two teaspoons of fresh lemon juice. So I'm just gonna squeeze some fresh lemon juice in with one hand, boom. And then um, a half a teaspoon of salt. So you can do less if you want, you can do more if you want, whatevs. So I'm doing like about a half a teaspoon of salt. Um, I'm gonna add a little bit more because I can just tell that I need more because I've made this a million times. So how much salt you need, I know how much I like, but. And then you just literally put the lid on and blend it up and then see if you need to add more water or more cashews and taste it and see if you need more salt or apple, apple cider vinegar or lemon. So yeah, let's pop the lid on and blend this up. All right, so this is looking like a pretty good consistency so far. Um, kind of nice and creamy. It's still pretty grainy, but I like to check kind of, you know, after I start blending it up for like 30 seconds to just kind of see the texture to see if I'm gonna need to add anything else. This is looking pretty good. This is gonna thicken up a lot in the fridge, so just keep that in mind. So um, if you're gonna put it into the fridge and leave it overnight, I would recommend making it thinner than you want it to be. Um, if you're gonna eat it right away, then make it the consistency you want, but it's better after it sits overnight anyway. So I'm just gonna keep blending this up and then taste it and then I'm gonna eat my burrito bowl. Okay, sweet, it's all done. So you can see it's totally, the lighting's not super good in here right now, it's dark out, but the consistency is creamy and delicious and it tastes just like sour cream. Um, it's tangy and a little bit salty and creamy and it's so good. I'm gonna pop this into a container to put into the fridge and then I'm gonna build my little burrito bowl. So that's what it looks like when it's all finished. And again, this is gonna thicken up a lot in the fridge, so um, I usually just put mine in the freezer while I get the rest of my food ready, so it kind of thickens up a little bit and cools down a little bit. But yeah, that'll like really thicken up, so that's a pretty good consistency if you're gonna let it thicken up overnight. Okay, so let's check out what's in this box. I got a burrito bowl. I spelled my name wrong. But whatever, I really don't care because it sounds like that's how it should be smelled. Anyway, okay, so let's see what this baby looks like and then kind of get everything all plated. So we've got cabbage on top, clearly. Let me grab a fork. Um, cabbage and then there's like the chorizo, like the chorizo nut meat stuff. And it looks like maybe some, oh, that's cilantro. And then there's beans and rice and jalapenos and like that's it so it's a ton of like filler stuff so it's like beans rice a little bit of cabbage so that's why i'm gonna this is literally could probably be like four servings it's really heavy um so i'm just gonna make like a little salad with some of this stuff all right so i finally am eating some dinner it's officially 8 41 p.m um, and I'm finally eating dinner. So, um, I sometimes eat late dinner. Uh, I usually don't go to bed till like midnight or one. Uh, Casey usually works until like 11 to midnight. So I usually stay up and, and wait up for him and hang out. So I usually eat dinner around eight or nine. So this isn't like completely weird, but yeah, I'm pretty hungry. So I'm excited. So I'm going to shut up and eat this, but, um, yeah, just made a little burrito bowl. Um, I'm gonna have a ton of leftovers. The co-op gave me like so much stuff, so I'm super stoked about it. But yeah, I just kind of like made a little burrito bowl with some lettuce, some chopped up romaine lettuce on bottom, 
and then I added like all of the filling stuff that I got at the co-op which was brown rice and black beans and pinto beans and they have like a vegan nut chorizo it's kind of spicy and really good and some cilantro and some jalapeno and normally I would get avocado um, but they were out so yeah and then on top of that I just drizzled some of the um, homemade cashew sour cream that I just showed you guys how to make which is like my favorite part of this entire meal and then I got some cilantro at the grocery store so I just chopped up some more of that and put it on top because I love cilantro so this is probably like my fifth liter of water now so I'm gonna drink I usually like to like chug a half of one of these not chug but well chug I have one of these before um, I eat so just to kind of like get my belly ready for food and just to make sure that I'm not overeating so I'm gonna drink some water I'm gonna eat this burrito bowl and um, I'm gonna go downtown and see a show I guess we should see how this is because I'm pretty excited about it. I feel like this like nut chorizo stuff in a burrito bowl with the sour cream is good. I usually get the burrito and then just like put the sour cream on it. But I'm really trying to eat a lot less processed food. So I was like, well, I'll try this burrito bowl. Maybe they'll give me like more stuff and I can make like more servings out of it, which is like totally the case. So super stoked about it. I'm trying not to get like a completely messy bite. This is gonna be a mess, but whatevs. Get my hair out of the way. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh yeah, and they put um like mild sauce and hot sauce in there, so it's kind of like a couple different like salsas, I guess. Mmm. It's spicy, <clears throat> but I love spicy food. But the um the like sour cream with the lemon and stuff in there totally helps with the spiciness. So this is really damn good. All right. Well, I'm gonna eat this, and I'm gonna go downtown to see some live music and um, I'm probably not gonna eat anything else today. If I get home and I'm hungry later and I eat something, I'll totally show you guys, but I have a feeling this is gonna be it for the day. So um, I didn't eat a ton today, but I was busy and I had a lot going on. So I'm gonna eat this until I'm full. And again, if I'm hungry later, I'll totally show you guys what I eat. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys like these what I eat in a day videos, please let me know. Um, just let me know down in the comments below or give it a little thumbs up. These are my most popular videos, so I really hope that these are helpful, at least a little bit inspirational for you. And yeah, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. There's a little red button down below. And um, yeah, I will just see you guys in the next video. Peace. Really good yum.